Okay guys, you did one template piece. I think it's time to start with a, and there are a lot more pieces in this, um, and it is a little bit more tricky to be honest. So I want to walk you through this again. I, all my colored, um, my vibrant colors are solids, but my background does have a definite wrong and right side. So template piece A has we start in the corner here with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the order we will sew. Our first piece is the background. I don't have anything colored in. That's how I know it's a background piece. So I'm going to flip over the template and I'm going to grab a um, background triangle, which mine has these cute little X's on it. Um, and I'm going to make sure that the fabric is right side up when we're on the wrong side of the template. A little confusing. Once you get used to it, it'll make sense. Holding it up to a light source so you can make sure that your fabric is going to extend all the way through the uh, seam allowances. And I'm just going to put a little pin in this again. Fabric glue. <laughs> Invest in it. <laughs> Okay, so this is the wrong side of um, the template piece. Right side of the fabric is up. As you can tell, the second piece is my purple fabric. I had you cut these out for the 12 inch size in um, three, three inch by two inch rectangles. I'm aligning just with a little nubbin sticking out from the background triangle. And I'm aligning my long side of the rectangle with that bias triangle edge. I'm going to carefully turn over and I'm going to sew a line just like that. I'll show you. Okay, that pin has served its purpose, so I'm getting rid of it. There we go. And now, when I finger press this, we've got the right side of the fabric up, that's good, and then our star point, although it doesn't much look like it, right? It will. Going to bring it over here. So here's my next sewing line right here. That means I'm gonna put my cardboard piece right there, push the paper back up around it, get my add a quarter ruler, trim that away, and the next fabric I need is another background piece. This time, instead of placing the fabric up, I'm going to place right sides together as in normal traditional sewing. And I'm going to align my triangle with the star point or star tip fabric. And then I'm going to carefully turn it over and I'm gonna sew this line. Okay, now here's a little fussy kind of thing that I have. It's not a big deal. I want you to feel like you have to do this, but if you notice, if I press this, you might not even notice, um, there's going to be some shadowing of the purple. So just because I'm a spaz, <laughs> I will take and trim that purple back just a tiny bit so that when I press the background piece, I won't have any purple shadowing through. Okay, there we have it so far. Our next fabric piece that we're um, gonna be sewing on is the dark blue. So I have that in my little pile over here, the darker blue. Uh, the seam that I will be sewing is between the three, third and the fourth piece. So I'm gonna take my cardboard guy, I'm gonna fold it. Now, you can kind of see 
the shadowing through that dark blue, I will line it just like this so that when that seam is sewn, I will press it and it will be covering that area on the back. Point down. This is what I mean, triangle point down here, making sure it's covering the seam allowance, the dash line on the outside. Okay. This is what I have before trimming. We look between the next seam, piece four and five. Five is gonna be another background triangle. So I'm going to pre-trim that seam allowance by aligning my cardboard here, folding my template piece over that. Adding my add a quarter ruler, trimming that up, getting a background triangle. And the same deal with this. I want my, when the seam is sewn, to open up and cover that space here. So I'm going to put right sides together, align it with the blue triangle underneath, turn it over carefully. Lift up my needle and sew that little line. Okay, here we go, we're getting there. Um, next piece is going to be the sixth piece, which is this lighter blue color. So I'm going to align my little cardboard helper, add a quarter, find my lighter blue triangle. And this is the piece I'm covering, but I'm going to position it down so that once it's sewn, I can open that piece up and cover the piece below. The nice thing about using the thread cutter is not having to hold the ends and not using a ton of thread because if you don't have a thread cutter, you'd most likely have to secure the starts and stops better than what I'm doing. The last one in this row is a background triangle. I'm going to align my cardboard piece here. Fold the paper back. Trim that up good. And then add a background triangle. Showing you this. One last time for this template piece, I'm covering this sp space right here, so I'm going to position my triangle accordingly, the right sides of the fabric together, aligning with that triangle edge, making sure the seam is covered over on the side. up. It's normal to mess up guys. All right. So I've got this row complete. Now I just have to add the main, the biggest piece of this um, unit. And even though my, my cardboard is not big enough to cover this, you could get a bigger piece, but I just position it in the center. Increase it back. It's not a huge deal. Um, you just need a lip for this add a quarter. Now, a background piece. I'm going to align it with the nice, clean, trimmed edge here. Sewing fabrics right side together and making sure that the seam allowance here is covered. And I am sewing this last seam. Just 
running my nail along the seam from the right side. Turn the template so it's printed side up. And we're gonna use the quarter inch mark of the ruler along the solid line of the block. Okay, it's starting to look like something, it's starting to look like we know what we're doing. <laughs> I want you to go forth and sew the rest of these template pieces, B, C, and D. Seriously. <laughs> And then come back and watch the next video for the next piece. The next piece you're probably gonna be like, oh, this is so easy because we tackled a lot of the tricky things with this. So if you, I think you've already nailed this block. If you're this far, you can do it. So we'll see what you come up with. Thank you for watching.